Day one of the cold. Origin of the cold. So the inevitable has happened and I've got a cold because I'm in marathon training. And I'm gonna say that that's why, because every time I train for a marathon, I get a cold. And I was really hoping that this would be the marathon block that that didn't happen in. But here we are, spoiler alert. It happened again. I was feeling really smug because Daniel came down with a cold on Monday and whilst living and working with the other person that you live with and are in a relationship with, it's quite difficult not to get that cold, but we distanced from each other as much as we possibly could. I absolutely hammed all of the health tactics that I knew of, drinking that honey, lemon and ginger tea like Daniel did, getting tons of sleep, eating super healthy and just focusing on my recovery. And I thought I'd smashed it because I got to Saturday and I wasn't sick. Hell yes. Until last night when I started to get that familiar scratchy throat. <laughs> so here we are. And I'm going to kick this cold faster than I've ever kicked a cold before. How? Well, I will tell you how. I'm going to throw the kitchen sink at this cold thanks to your recommendations. I put a question up on my Instagram story asking for everyone's favourite fix for getting rid of a cold. And I'm going to try all of them. Well, as many as I humanly can within the safe limits of what I can do. I'm gonna document my progress and hopefully this will help some of you get over your colds quicker and well, it's just also me making lemonade from my lemons because I was gonna be racing a 10 mile race today and I'm really sad that I'm not, so I'm filming this instead. So whilst the cause of this illness is um, out getting supplies. I thought I would talk you through some of the first suggestions that I've had from my Instagram followers for these remedies. Quite a few repeats in here, but I'll scroll through them really quickly. And most of them will be on Daniel's shopping list. Lots of people suggesting zinc and vitamin C. I've spoken to a few sports doctors about this and I used to actually take zinc and vitamin C every day because I thought it was helping prevent me get sick, but apparently that's not true. I always thought that was the case. I feel like that's what we're fed when you're younger. But apparently what's better is obviously just having a really good diet that's really rich in vitamins and minerals and all the healthy good stuff. But at the first sign of feeling sick or getting ill with a cold is taking zinc and vitamin C tablets every day. Some studies out there that show that it helps a cold last not as long, less long for less time. So I've been doing that. Lots of people saying sleep, that's an obvious one. Drinking lots of water, homemade ginger shots, adding turmeric and black pepper to that honey, lemon and ginger tea because it's an anti-inflammatory and an antioxidant. Who knew? People saying that they make themselves sweat, sweating it out by having a hot bath, going to the sauna, wearing lots of clothes. Something called Esperidox, which I looked up and I don't think you can get it anymore, but I believe it's a echinacea supplement. I put that on Daniel's list. So we'll see if he comes home with any echinacea. Asia. Soup, lots of chicken soup, garlic, having garlic next to you whilst you sleep. I mean, I'll try it. Different kind of cough mixtures. I haven't actually got a cough yet, but I'll keep these for when I do. Cavonia aurimusocal spray. That's on the list. Eating spicy, honey and turmeric and ginger from Marks and Spencer specifically. Kombucha, anything with live cultures is another thing that I've heard that's good for prevention. Drinking so much water, adding fresh thyme to the honey and lemon. Had whiskey, I will not be having that because I have had some better advice that alcohol is not good for colds or for getting colds, more on that later. Elderberry tablets, spoonfuls of honey, cloves in the lemon and honey. Someone said pancakes. I like your style. Onion peel tea. <laughs> Fermented foods, Vicks First Defense, Echinacea, Iron Brew. <laughs> Iron brew? Cold time. Sleeping with an onion cut in half on your bedside table is supposed to help. Okay. And I should note that I have already got cracking. Last night at the first sign of a tickly throat, I had three cloves of chopped garlic, washed down with a spoonful of honey and some hot milk, drinking lots of water. I slept for nine and a half hours last night. I've been having a honey, lemon and ginger tea and I have started on the paracetamol and ibuprofen. I think that's everything. Oh, and this morning I took my supplements. That's omega-3, vitamin D and a probiotic, which I have every morning. And I also threw in there a zinc and vitamin C tablet, which is one of the recommendations that has come up time and time again. Oh, and I had a shot of kefir, live cultures, probiotic.
brown today. All right, it's 7 p.m. I have had five of these flasks of water, which is 20 ounces or 591 mils or roughly a pint. So five pints slash 591 mils times five, like nearly three liters, yeah? That's pretty good. And I'm about to have my fourth lemon ginger honey concoction. Wow, crazy. And that's quite a big mug. So that's three quarters of a pint. So after four of those, I will have had, let's just take away, three, three pints. Three quarters of a pint? Yeah, three pints of hot honey, lemon, ginger stuff. So that's um, that's quite a lot of liquid. And I'm due to take some more paracetamol, cold and flu, because it's been over four hours since I took that, but I want to take it like half an hour before going to bed, just in case I have any trouble sleeping, that hopefully that'll take the edge off. Priority is going to be winding down, maybe watch a bit of telly, and try to line myself up to get that elusive 10 hour sleep tonight. <laughs> Let's see. And then what I'm gonna do is track my resting heart rate overnight, track my HRV, which is heart rate variability, and see where I'm at in the morning. I'll let you know if I've done it and if I'm better tomorrow morning. I feel like at the moment, I'm just holding the edge off. I can tell I've got a sore throat, the runny nose is coming, but I feel okay. So that's good. Let's see how the evening goes. Can you make me better? <laughs> oh, you see, you like it. You like it really. Just play hard to get. Whilst I was meant to be filming me race a 10 mile race this weekend for this video and I can't do that, the sponsor of today's video, that's Days, we're gonna sponsor the race video. But this is an even more fitting sponsor because Days make the best alcohol free beer around and did you know that alcohol massively increases your risk of picking up the common cold? Days to the rescue. And not only does alcohol make it more likely that you're gonna pick up a common cold or another virus, it's also gonna mean that your cold lingers for longer because that immune system isn't working at 100%. My advice to you would be to enjoy your beer without the alcohol and then your immune system is functioning better and you get to enjoy your beer. And that is what days are all about. They're not about taking the fun out of your life. All of the environments that we have beer in are socializing, seeing your friends and family, going out and having a good time but you don't need alcohol in the picture to be able to do that. So even if you just trade half of the beers that you drink in a week for an alcohol-free alternative like Days, which comes in a pale ale and a lager form, you're gonna feel a lot better as a result. You can have more energy, you're gonna be less likely to pick up a cold, and you can have a good time whilst having a beer and then wake up the next day and still go about your business without the dreaded hangover. I mean, what's not to love? And you'd have to be living under a rock to not know that it was Black Friday this week, so Days have got an amazing deal for you. My code usually gets you 20% off, but you can use the code Philly Thursday to get 30% off everything on the day's website only until Monday. So if you're watching this video and it's just come out, you have got that 30% deal. Unfortunately, if it's past the 48 hour mark, you only get 20% off. Both of my codes are in the description for you to use. I'd love for you to try this. I think it's amazing. And I'd also love for you not to get a cold. Huge thanks to Days for sponsoring this video. It's the next day. <clears throat> I didn't get rid of my cold. We're not giving up. I'm gonna start a new list. And whilst I'm not getting rid of it, I would say three things. Number one, strangely, my data is going in the opposite direction to how it should. My resting heart rate was at an all time low, like a PB last night, 35. The night before that it was 36. The night before that it was 37. So I'm going down, which seems wrong. My HRV is good as well. I think it was like 80 something this morning. And number two, I actually feel okay. So either this is a very mild cold or all the stuff I'm doing is helping me feel better. And number three, I feel like I'm progressing through the cold journey faster. Even last night, I was starting to get the runny nose. Well, that took Daniel like three days with this cold and it normally takes me a couple of days. So maybe this is speeding up the process. So I'm gonna keep doing it and um, hello. Breakfast.
done. Well, I've been having hot milk after my garlic and honey, and I thought maybe a bit of warm milk would make my lemon, honey, ginger concoction taste a bit nicer. I just microwave the milk with the lemon, honey and ginger before adding the water and... Oh. Uh, mm. I don't think I'm gonna drink that. No, I wouldn't. Oh god, that's strong. It just hit me in the eyes from there. Bye. <laughs> I think I put too much in. Less is more. One, two, three. That was five. But I think I probably put a lot of thirty in last time. <laughs> Good night. See you later. Ah. Whoa, that's zoomed in. Ah. Ah, wrong way. So it's Wednesday and uh I'm still sick, but I am feeling a lot better. And some of the things that I have been trying to help myself feel better, I genuinely believe have sped up the process of this cold. So I'm gonna go through everything that I've been doing, how often I've been doing it, how much I rate these get rid of a cold quick things that people have suggested, and um, any side effects or words of caution to add on there. And I'll be honest, I wasn't able to do all of the things that people suggested because I just couldn't access all of these things. I always have to be careful what I put in my body as a professional athlete, so any drugs that are mentioned, if, even if they're just cold and flu or Lemsip. I have to look that up on a website called Global Dro to make sure that it's not a prohibited substance because I can't take those. Uh -huh. And to kick us off, I'm gonna have one of my top ingredients from my diet over the last few days, and that is ginger. I've been having a lot of honey, lemon, ginger, and thyme, or other variations of that tea. Um, but Daniel has made ginger shots for us, which is, I believe, a lot of ginger, <laughs> blended up with some apple juice and something else. Daniel, what else did you put in there? I'm a lemon! It is pungent, and I hate spicy food, or spicy anything. It's a different kind of spice. Ginger, I think, has been helping. The honey and lemon, that whole combination, I think having a warm drink helps. And I've been having one of those roughly three or four times a day. I've kind of been replacing my cups of tea with hot honey and lemon. Sometimes we mix a bit of cherry juice in to make it a little bit tastier. Next up is the hot baths. I'd say maybe every day, apart from yesterday, I've had a hot bath and it does help warm everything up. If you've got a runny nose, it's gonna help all of that come out. And apparently raising your core temperature can help to um, kind of kickstart your immune system and help you fight that cold off. The big one for me, which absolutely should have been at the top of this list, is rest and sleep. I didn't run at all on Sunday or on Monday. Yesterday I went for a very light 30 minute jog and today I upped that to 60 minutes. Now that's a very quick return, but at the same time I'm used to quite a high load and high volume and I've kept my heart rate super low. I'm gonna whittle through the rest of them that I have done consistently every day and that I think have helped. And then I'm gonna talk about garlic. So these are my checklists that I have been writing on every day to make sure that I am tallying up the things that I want to do. So for example, on Sunday, I got nine and a half hours of sleep. I had my kefir first thing in the morning. That's gonna be something that I'm gonna keep doing to try and prevent getting sick in the future. Then we have the garlic and honey, which I'm gonna get to. And then I have my supplements, which I made sure that I'm really hot on. Lemon, ginger and honey is on there. As I said, I've been having like three or four of those a day. Drinking a lot of water, like more water than you think you need. I've been peeing a lot, taking paracetamol or cold and flu medicine. I've been using Vicks Vaporub on my chest and on my back and my neck. I did apply it to my feet one night because someone told me that works and immediately after I did it, Daniel Googled it and uh, yeah, it's a myth. So thanks for making me look like an absolute idiot and uh, wearing Vicks underneath my socks for a whole night's sleep. And I've had a lot of chicken soup. This is an old classic and it helps. Again, you've got that water content super high and there's research behind this one and it just feels good. I've also been eating eggs because I saw this TikTok. You know, enjoying two eggs daily can help your body bounce back from colds and flus by up to 60% faster. My phone is definitely listening to me. It knew I was sick. It fed me this information and I consumed it. 
The big success story of it all, guys, garlic, okay? I have had a near toxic amount of garlic. My breath is probably gonna stink for weeks. I'm going to be sweating garlic. I'm probably 50% garlic bulb at this time, but it really works. And I even had a message from Jess Hull, who I used to live with in Oregon. She is an Olympian, guys. She ran at the World Championships this year and before a Diamond League earlier this year, she had a cold and she was having raw garlic every day and she said it kicked her cold in the butt. That's as good a recommendation from any, and a lot of people sent this in, saying their grandmas were recommending it, they'd chop up raw garlic year round and have a clove a day so they didn't get a cold. It's really effective, it's like a super cold killer. So what I've done is chopped up a clove of garlic, left it for 10 minutes, because supposedly once it's chopped, you need 10 minutes for the allicins to become, and then I drizzle it in honey, put the spoon in my mouth, and then my top tip for washing it down, hot milk, and I've been having two to three three a day. I've reduced that to two recently after I found that three was very close to the uh, toxic levels of garlic where you kind of get adverse gastrointestinal effects, which, um, well, no one wants that. So did I kick the cold in 24 hours? No, I didn't, but we are on day four and I'm able to run. I feel absolutely fine. I just have a little bit of a sniffly nose and a tiny scratchy throat. I haven't got a cough touch wood yet and I'm staying really on top of all of this and my sleep and I honestly wouldn't feel this good four days in normally when I have a cold but I have really gone out this like it's my job and I guess it is my job because making videos is my job so this technically is my job to get rid of this cold and tell you guys about it that I think has been the game changer and all of these things together have really genuinely helped and when this video comes out on Sunday it will be one week since I've had the cold and I will leave a comment to let you know know how I'm feeling and how the last few days have gone. If you've got a cold or you've had one or one crops up in a week or two, come back to this video, try some of these things. I swear the garlic's not as bad as it sounds. And if I didn't mention your top cold cure, put it in the comment section below because this is gonna help someone this winter. We're all getting colds and we all need to fight them together. And last little disclaimer for me, only return to running or sport or work for that matter when you're genuinely feeling better. And if you've got data and you're able to measure that and check your resting heart rate and you know check your HRV if you measure that, it's really helpful to know if your body is on the same hymn sheet as your brain. Is that how the saying goes? Singing from the same hymn sheet? Something like that. I don't want you to train through a cold. That would be my biggest piece of advice is to take some rest. Even if it's just two or three days at the start, it will shorten the time span of your cold, along with some of this stuff as well. Love the grind.